Dem congressman says four-star Marine General John Kelly disgraces his uniform serving Trump The fallout from Trump's decision to end the Obama-era political protections for Dreamers has just begun. President Trump, who campaigned on ending the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals or DACA, announced this week that Congress will have six months in order to fix the program that gave work permits, social security numbers, and federal benefits to approximately 800,000 illegal immigrants. In response to Trump's decision, many commenters and even the former President of the United States have weighed in. However, one of the most fiery and borderline unhinged responses has come from a Democratic congressman from Illinois. Luis Gutierrez represents the 4th District of Illinois and has so for nearly 20 years. The congressman did not hold back in his criticism of Trump's decision to end DACA, saying in a statement, Immigrant youth, immigrant families, and our allies in all sectors of American life are here to stay, regardless of the president's mass deportation fantasies and objectives. America is a better country than its president, and most Americans do not want to see documented immigrants converted into undocumented immigrants. The congressman went on to say the Trump administration has white supremacist goals, emphasis added, this administration is on a very dangerous trajectory towards the full-throated endorsement of white supremacy, the likes of which we haven't seen in the open from a sitting president for a century, but this action on DACA, to pull the rug out from under almost 800,000 documented immigrants who have lived here for at least 10 years, and cast them back into the shadows, is the ugliest act of appeasement for the far right's white supremacist goals of them all, so far. However, whatever one's opinions are on President Trump, the next line of attack should be unsettling. Gutierrez leveled a double-barrel attack on four-star Marine General John Kelly. Kelly currently serves as Donald Trump's chief of staff in the White House. Kelly enlisted in the Marines as a young man during Vietnam and has served his country consistently over the last 40 years, rising to the highest ranks the military has to offer. Kelly served in multiple war zones and tragically lost his son in Afghanistan when a terrorist aid exploded. Kelly's son is buried in Arlington. After all of the service that John Kelly has given to his country, it seems unwise to attack his military credentials, yet this is exactly what Gutierrez did. In the same press release, Gutierrez said Kelly has disgraced his uniform and likens him to a white supremacist, emphasis added, General Kelly, when he was the head of Homeland Security, lied straight to the faces of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus about preventing the mass deportation of Dreamers. Now as chief of staff, this former general is executing the plan to take away their lifeline and taking steps to criminalize young people who live and work here legally. General Kelly is a hypocrite who is a disgrace to the uniform he used to wear. He has no honor and should be drummed out of the White House along with the white supremacists and those enabling the president's actions by just following orders. Lifelong political activist Luis Gutierrez has never served in the military. Calls to the congressman's office have not been returned for clarification, 